Greetings and welcome to what I am dubbing the wifey simply because this is pretty much the build my wife runs. Now this build works perfectly well for any weapon that is single shot. So you pull the trigger, you hear a boom and then you reload. Devastator, crossbow, sniper rifle, spore bloom and I believe that really actually covers it however the main one that people really go for is crossbow simply because although it has lower damage than the sniper rifle due to the reload time of it you do notice a serious difference in DPS and you also get some decent range out of it so you haven't got to be up close and personal like with the shotgun although the devastator does work also very very well the limited mod choice does still make the crossbow the fan favourite. This build works beautifully on all levels depending on your skill. As you can see mine isn't that great. Now I have put up a little bit of variety to what typically a lot of people run with this but it is generally speaking a crossbow slayer set. I've also got the hunting pistol in there because that also is one shot reload so we might as well use it just because the Slayer has that much buffing power. I run the explosive shot just to help out with the groups of enemies as well as Song of Swords just to get that much more damage out of it. I'm also running Guardian Axe because I like the ability to basically have a cause for spamming mods which I do find to be most helpful. If you're not wanting the Guardian Axe I would suggest either a wide arcing melee such as a hammer or a flail or go with the Spear Tempest Rush I think it's called, the Thunder Spear, but always running the Slayer set. Now the jewellery I run is a little bit different. I am running the Heart of Darkness just because that is a flat 20% buff and I'm generally out of the way of most damage to actually not really care about the debuff. Empowering loop is again another 25% damage buff and we don't really care about the debuff on the uh, fire rate because it's a one shot reload. And then the Jewel of the Black Sun, the more we kill the higher we get. Now most people would run the Gunslinger Charm which is entirely your choice just for the faster reload which in turn does mean more DPS, as well as Braided Thorns or Devouring Loot, something along those lines to get a little bit more crit and higher damage potential out of it, which does work fine. But we're still going to be rocking roughly a 40% crit chance, and within that 40% crit chance, because of the Devouring Loot nerf, within that 40% crit chance, you then have to get very lucky with the 3% Devouring Loot proc. That's not enough for me, so I've buffed it more on the raw side, and it still works well. Hope this helps, and I hope to see you guys pretty damn soon. Ta-ra! <laughs>